Hey and welcome back. So today, uh, it is a Thursday, but I started planning this on late Tuesday evening, Wednesday. So I have been actually doing things finally. I've been, I've been on the ball and I've been sort of progressing with things. I made a Word document. I might flash it. Let's move a little bit. Here, I made a Word document for this project, because I thought, you know what, when I was talking last time about becoming more serious and doing more drawings and stuff, I did nothing. So, um, this time what we're doing is we are doing what every engineering channel does at least once. Um, I thought I'd pay my respects to this idea and do it once myself, maybe a couple times far in the future, but for now we're doing it once, um, and we are doing deployable claws. So, Initially, I can never see it in my little, I use a little side camera, which is why sometimes I look over here. I can never see it when I look in the side camera, but normally when it comes through on the edit, you can see it. So this was my initial sort of idea. So I was looking at this and I was thinking, okay, so this was like my rough sketch. I just did a hand. I did a little palm piece. I drew the claw a little bit. Cool. This garbage. It's an initial though, so we'll keep it. I then went into further detail. Uh, this one looks a lot lighter. I'm going to move it a little closer. Uh, so I went into further detail and I got some more ideas flowing, uh, ring sizes uh, by like just measuring my fingers with my vernier caliper, uh, palm piece a bit better designed and the claws just better designed. So we've got the, the concept and we've got some actual drawings this time. So next what I'll do is I'm going to try and do the 3D design of the pieces. Uh, I will print the claws, print everything off. I've actually ordered some new filament because as I said in the last video, we're a little low and I also wanted some white filament anyway because the claws would look better maybe in a white and then I could do the palm piece in like a black or something. I don't know, but I just wanted, um, I wanted something a bit better. So I've ordered a white filament now, same brand. Um, I like the... Um, print settings that it recommends for like the heat and stuff. It gives quite a nice durable um, print and also it seems to stick really well to my print bed currently. Sorry, I keep looking over there at the printer. Um, so yeah, so we're really good with that. Um, I've also ordered the extra pieces that I need. So my rough idea of what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a small band around my wrist, a palm piece, and then I'm going to have three rings on my index, middle, and ring finger. And I'll have the ring sit just below the first knuckle. So around here-ish. And they will be hooked up with some fishing line underneath the palm piece and under to the back of the um, claw. So that when I flex my finger in and clench my hand, it will tighten the string, pulling the claw forwards. And then to have them retract, I will have right at the back of the claw I will have a hook and then a spring like, they're gone, oh there they are, spring like this, so just a, a standard uh, comp a compressed spring and it will, so when it's stationary, it's like its stationary position will just be resting on my palm and then when I contract the spring will of course extend and then want to retract eventually, so as I release the spring will retract pulling the claws back. So it's quite a little small system, nothing. I didn't really want anything overly complex because I really wanted to keep it small. And what I really am trying to do is I'm really trying to keep it within the region of my palm. I'd like to keep it small in there. So for that reason, I think the dimensions I said is I'm gonna go for about 70 millimeter long claws. So that'll sit just resting on the size of my palm with enough room for me to be able to flex a little bit and stuff. They might be a little smaller depending on that sort of like um, flexing of my wrist, but then um, they will come out seven. So they won't be as like as long as, for example, like Wolverine's claws, which is what a lot of YouTubers base these around. They'll just be like small deployable claws. And I think it will be a respectable little project with um, just some really nice merit to it. If I can get the, the trigger system to work quite nicely, because then it will just be based purely on tensing or relaxing, which I think will be a a nice little look for these and they'll stay quite small and compact. So that's what we're going to do. So now we'll jump to the 3D printing and 3D design.
Hey, so, we've finished the prints, and I think they've, I did three for now, I think they've turned out quite nicely, um, they're what I was after, they come out a nice length, but I've realised while printing them, I will need to add a little bit more to the back for them to be able to be just about sort of perfect, but, oh, there it goes, one second. But otherwise I'm quite happy with them. So that's where we're gonna leave it this week. It's a quite short video. I've had um, a couple distractions going on, so I'm gonna leave this short. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this into roughly three parts. So part one, welcome. Uh, so we've done the claws and uh, there'll be like tweaks along the way, but we've designed the claws. You've seen the uh, ugh, 3D design. And what I was gonna do quickly is just a, I haven't done this yet, just a sort of live durability test in a sense. And I'm going to stab this apple uh, with each of them and see sort of how they perform just like on this sort of front. So I'm, not, I'm quite impressed, honestly. I thought they'd snap a little bit, um, but they go in really cleanly. A little bit like, I mean, they're, they're solid in there. So, I mean, I can even, yeah, I can hold it upside down. So, the prints themselves are probably perfect in, like, dimension for actual, like, use. Um, if I plan to do any more with them than just sort of display them. So I might be able to stab some fruits at the end. Um, but for now, that's it for this week. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want, I'm going to start streaming soon. I've already done one, like, test stream. Um, so I'll leave a link for that at the end of the video. And thank you guys.